Okay, Alan, thanks for joining us. Let's start with the Ivory Cup match against Boreham Wood at the weekend. We're through to the next round. Probably could have been a little bit easier from, from what I gather, but how did you see the game? I thought we were by far the better team, passed the ball a lot better. Um, we defended a lot better than we have been over recent weeks. We restricted them to very few opportunities. Um, but we could have been more clinical still. We've got to make sure we take our chances when they come along. The defensive part you mentioned last week, and you said there was something you'd been working on uh, in, in preparation for the game on Saturday. Were you happy with how the team set out? Obviously, we got the clean sheet. So. No, it's always important. It gives you a foundation to start with. You need to defend well. Um, we have to get back to basics of defending and not losing goals and giving yourselves a chance to win a game. Um, and with the quality we've got, we'll score goals. Um, so that's something we've been trying to focus on this week. I know that there have been, um, from everyone really, sort of doubts about the format, the tournament and all the rest of it, but it seems to be that it's been a positive experience in terms of the, in terms of the result, I should say, but also the team going away together and, and spending a wee bit of time with each other. A wee bit of bonding. It's, you don't often get the chance for the boys to go away together and spend a bit of time together. Um, and it's always good when you get through the next round, the fans are brilliant, the atmosphere at the game, it's amazing the distance the, the fans travel to come to the game and the support they showed, so uh, I think all the players appreciated that. Let's move on to uh, Ambrew Cup opponents in the next round, I love it, we've got them in the league on Saturday. Um, a big game uh, because of our recent league form, we, we really need the three points, don't we? Definitely. You can see uh, we've got a run of fixtures coming up. We need to start putting results together. We need to start getting ourselves back up the table and challenging up the top. Um, so it's a massive game on Saturday to try and get back on track. It's early days in the league still, <coughs> though, even though you know our last few games haven't been great. Um, as you said, the fixtures coming up, we are capable of putting a, a run of results together of four or five wins, and all of a sudden, if we do that, we're right back in contention. You know how hard the league this is though, we don't take anything for granted, um, it's hard to even predict the scores in this league, um, so we know it's going to be a difficult game, they'll come in, try and frustrate us, um, and we've got to have the quality to try and break them down. Just on that, um, you know, seeing how unpredictable the championship is, you know, we get convincingly beaten by air, then they go and get convincingly beaten by Queen of the South the next week, it's going to be that sort of league, but in terms of Alloa as well, a, a, a tough team, there's, there's no, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful to Brecon, but there's, there's no team like that in the league this year, is there? No, Alaba have got good players, um, I've seen them a number of times this season, um, been, they've been in every game, they've played, they've had a chance of winning every game, they don't lose a lot of goals, um, they've got a lot of pace, and they've brought in some good boys in loan, um, so I know it's going to be a tough tie. How are we looking on the injury front, I know there was a couple of niggles over the weekend. There was a couple of niggles. Uh, Probably maybe one or two might be missing, um, but we've got enough players to handle that. That's what we've got a squad for, um, and it doesn't matter who's playing. We've got to make sure we've got we're in the front foot and go and get the win. I pleased to have been finally with the two boys that have come in just now. Anyway, uh, Mally Martin and Robin Muirhead. It's always good to get a bit of freshness as well. Uh, the two of them are still getting up to match speed. I think it was good for Robbie to get 90 minutes at the weekend. You could see he was tired towards the end. Um, and that can only do him a world of good. And Mallory's going to take a bit of time to get up to speed, but you can see the quality he's got when he came in, some he's passing. Um, so hopefully he'll have a big influence. And finally, just quickly, the penalties as well. Six perfect penalties. It seems a, a long way away since we're missing them almost you know, every few weeks in the league a couple of years ago. No, Has there been a practice? No, no. <laughs> no, we, we did practice them yeah. before the game, obviously, but it's hard to replicate, obviously, a game. So it's sometimes it's a bit false. Um, I'm just surprised Lee Robinson never took one.